head over to Balagard. Yeah, main goal right now is to try and get enough money that we can get a workshop. Build up an army to what? 100? Or at least 85, I think. And then we'll probably ask to be a lord if we can. I'd love to be a lord and get one of the core territories over here. That'd be nice. That's the dream because then you can recruit Sturgeon troops from it. But it'd probably be given something like all the way over here. Or one of the newly conquered ones like that. And then you'll be in trouble. I'm gonna. When am I? How much longer until I fail that mission? Thirty-nine days. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, is it? We need to wait and heal up for a little bit. Then when we become a lord, we we'll need to think about marriage. What merchant character we could do that? Although we're at war, so it's a little bit more difficult right now. Until we need to win this one so that we get more influence. It's rather important. Betting as well. Oh, it's a throwing axe one. Okay. I throw better than you, mate. The throwing axe off. Beautiful. Fine cleave. If you could throw an axe, catch one and swing it back, that'd be great. There we go. Look at that. Five influence. That's going to be huge for us to keep it constantly topped up. Very nice indeed. Right. Uh, those pauldrons. Uh, they are better than what my companions have currently got. But right now, it's more important, I think, that I sell it and keep on tournament. Actually, let's ask where the next tournament is. There's no point going east if there isn't going to be one over there. Hoping there will be one. Varcheg and Senna. Of course there's one over at Varcheg, where we've just come from. Oh, no, don't wait here. Leave. Or is that the one that I was at? Maybe. Shouldn't be. Yeah, five five influence gain per um per tournament win is pretty pretty good. Especially when we're not in a mercenary contract constantly losing two per day. That's quite big. Medieval influence was a much better profession than it was today. Was that only minus one now? Does it just drop over time? Ooh, what's that? A Nashawari? Is that a camel? No, it's a horse. Okay. I thought I was done for then. I thought that I'd stepped into the path of uh, axe. Going full Sturgeon today. That's the plan. I think we're trying to get it, we're going to try and get a workshop up and running. I think before we join as a battle. We're currently a mercenary.
Hi, Savannah. She's, I think she's the one that I normally marry. Or I have in the past, actually. Sergia. Yeah. Do a workshop in Varcheg. Yeah, probably. Or, or Ravel. Sometimes it's safe there. Balagard as well. Balagard's a good one to have one in because it's quite far back. So it normally doesn't get taken straight away. How expect Ooh, that horse is worth crazy amounts. Um, It's just got slight. Oh, wow. It's got considerably more speed than my Step War horse. But right now, sell it. Um. Workshop, where uh, they're normally between 10 to 15k. I, I probably, if I'm going to do one, I probably do one at Balagard because I feel like that's sort of as far back and quite safe. Um, plus, you've got quite a few villages around Balagard to help support it as well. But I'll probably do one there. Um, and what does what does Balagard actually have? Go settlements. E B B B B. Bal I call it Balagard. It's Balgard. That's that one which produces cows and iron ore. Uh, I did you want one that's three, don't you? Well, no more. Uh, let's go to Sturgia. I said he got two. Uh, what is Varcheg then? Varcheg's only two. It's fur and fish. What about... Revel, that's only two as well. Alvana oh, pole, yeah, that's the one. That's got three. That's got iron ore, hog, and fish. Hmm. Probably still go Balagard though. Hmm. Yeah, we could do that. So it's cows or what iron? Iron smelter potentially could work. Um, so there's a tournament over at Senon and Morath. Um, I'm unlikely to win those, to be honest. But uh, let's go give it a go at Senon. We'll make it. We've made some really good progress today. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Big, big, big progress. Not lost our army, which is good. I mean, we thought we might have done a little bit. Oh, I thought there was a tournament here. Uh, Where's all ties yet? Down there. We were at war with, so we can't go after them. Ooh, Nor Ooh Northern Empire's taken that from them. Interesting. Uh, we've still got hold of that one. Uh, let's head back over to Epicrotia. I see the Northern Empire not getting absolutely smashed straight away. Everything is a bit more stable in this one. Which is... I mean, it's been happening for a while. Uh, it's not new just in this build. They've been slowly but surely getting better at... Make the AI not completely just fall apart. Sturgia does still sometimes seem the weakest, though, at times. Yeah, so we're doing Crusader Kings 3 tomorrow. We might end tomorrow's stream with a little bit of Magic the Gathering. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Head itchy head, purple fingers. Arena, join tournament. It's a horse as the reward. We need to make sure we win it. Not only because we want the money, but we also want the influence gain now. Oh, wow. He just took completely trash that guy. Team that round. 
Beautiful. I was trying to do that in first person. That was too difficult. <laughs> oh, I just kept on hacking. Beautiful. What influence. Thank you. Oh. And we'll trade. Oh, you're not worth that much at all here. I might just keep you for now then. Please not. It's mainly your hit points, isn't it? I might see if we can sell you somewhere else for a bit more. Uh, let's head over here so we can find some bandits. Ten loots that way. I want to go into this mountain bandits hideout. Yeah, one. Let's do it. Give it a go. Give it a go. Uh, who should we take with us? Take one of those. I thought it was worth a little bit more last time we had one. I'm just probably getting confused with the more expensive horses we've been picking up. Random see what like different layouts or just more of them. Different layouts, nice. Throwing rocks at me, mate. Just charge. Have at, have, have at them. <laughs> Got something on my face. Really? <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Shield. Nice. 
Oh, I'm going to do something incredibly risky here. I'm going to say I'm going to fight him even though I'm really on really low health. Screw it. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Victory. We have won. A bit of influence from that as well. Nice. Give me all those prisoners. That one's still not leveling up. Getting close. Nice. Um, head up here, actually. Dual bandit lead. Uh, you've always been able to dual bandit leaders. You've always had the option to either dual them or to uh, cut them all down. Scouting, movement during daytime, during nighttime, 30% chance of sight. Um, let's go for. I mean, we're going to be traveling day and night. I'm going to go for night, night runner. There's a tournament here. Good. There was an option. No, not in Warband, but in Bandlord, it's always been there. It's not worth it. Here's some bit of money. We'll wait here for a little bit just to heal on up. We're actually making money now because of the amount of influence we've got. Ah, oh, so the more influence you get, though, the more the mercenary contract drains. Mm-hmm. But because of the influence, the amount we get from a mercenary contract is higher than our party wages. Or well, it was. Not anymore. That's pretty cool. Three, two, one. Uh, tournament time. Spiked Kettle Helm. We can do that. Do some betting. Smashed down by that horse. Beautiful. Is that kettle for a cup of tea? Out. to stand a chance here. Yeah. 
can couch the lance, but then I've got to run right into them, and that's a bit risky. I'd rather keep my distance and try and jab at them as I go past. What's your early money making scheme, Earthen Lady? Got one of them. Horse is nearly down. Oh, get the uh Bugio, smelt them, yep. Yeah. Yeah, they did a rebalance on, on all that. Well, which was, well, I was surprised why so many people were suggesting doing that. Because I was like, I'm pretty sure they patched that. There we go. Pure roar of victory. Beautiful. That took a while. Oh, the Palantine Guard, my worst enemies. Skilled combatant. Ah, but not skilled enough. Thank you, Jedi Master, for the 100 bits. Okay. Final round. Let's do it. Easy. Beautiful. Give me that sweet, sweet influence. Nice. Is the kettle helm what I've got? No. Better than what I've got. Nice. Um, how much can I sell that for? Yeah, I could give it to one of my companions, but right now, give me that money. So I wanna, I wanna get one in Balagard. Let me just see if I can run these looters down because that's super easy. Go. I'm really hoping you would just link up with these guys a little bit and then I'd have loads of them to kill. Uh, surrender. I'm actually going to try sending in the troops. We just get wounded. As long as none of them get killed, that's fine. Again, I don't know if they fixed that or not. Um, that was before. I've got prisoners, yeah. Let's go sell them. Thought it still works. 20k, 15 minutes into the game. I just don't find the fun in that because I feel like that just takes the... I mean, okay, to be fair, the early game can drag on when you don't have the money. But I just feel like that. <laughs> it just takes away kind of the... the I guess it, it's, it's because the early game is grind. So I can like, I can understand that to be fair. I don't mind the early game because for me, it's more of a focus on if I do have to fight lots of battles, it's about me getting better at fighting. So it doesn't bother me a huge amount. Uh, let's go see if there's tournament over here and then we'll swing up and round to Balagard that way and try and put in a workshop. Normally, it's kind of like I need the early game to remind myself of how all the core game systems functional or find out what's tweaked and changed. We got to ransom prisoners again, didn't I? Yep. We'll do it here. Find out where the nearest tawny is. So there's one happening just down here. So we'll go there and then we'll head back up and around. You'd have like 200k in 30 minutes. I, I just I just can't see the fun in that. But each their own, however they want to play, you know. It's uh it's not for me, but that's how you enjoy playing. They enjoy playing. 
the, the tournament's not here now. I've got here. Dang it. Must have just run out. As it literally, it's just jumped up to where I was. I'm pretty sure. Yes, the tournament's just jumped up there. <laughs> I'm on Banlord difficulty as well, Earthen Lady. All my campaigns have been on Banlord difficulty. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, seven nobles offering a judgment for the victor. Oh, it's not one of these ones. Okay. I was hoping it might be something cooler. It's not, but it's fine. We'll still bet. Still eke out a little bit of money. Ow. Nice. Thanks for doing all the hard work, Bellathor. Capture bets, we're going to bet with tournament. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Oh, you're a little short thing, aren't you? This guy's tiny compared to me. Look at him. <laughs> He's an angry little fighter. There we go. Midget nibbling at my at my at my ankles. Yeah, I'll sell the judgment here. Uh so that would sell a bit for a bit more. Sell the horse as well. Wanna bribe to enter the keep. Let's head on over to the bit. Hey Ross, thanks for scrubbing Prime. <laughs> off your face. I can talk. <laughs> there is a tournament here. Good timing. Ooh. That gloves. No, oh, boots. Boots are good too. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Take out the archers. Through to the next round, no matter what.
out. Scratching my eyebrow, checking for purple paint. So I don't know where the paint all went. Maybe some more swings. It's okay. I'll say, gonna give me an axe tossing uh, round. That'd be grand. Oh, missed. Uh oh. I'll do it though. Okay, little cut then. Uh, we've just moved over to Balagard because my microphone cut out after we left Sabir completing the tournament. Um, it's time to get ourselves a workshop. Um, owner of the brewery, owner of the artisans, owner of the smithery, tannery. So this Balagard is good for... It's got um, cow production and iron ore. I feel like we should get the smithy then. Take a walk uh, around the town centre. and Hunter. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, Smithy. That's really useful now. Just hold that up in the icons. Sharp nice and clearly. I want to get to the Smithy. Tannery might work with cows. That's true. A smithy would work with the iron ore. Why have I drawn my sword? I don't want my sword drawn. Yes, I'll buy it. Uh, what kind of workshop do I want? Um, what do you guys think? Because I could... Um, different workshop. We leave it as it is. Let's, let's, I'll say that I don't want to change what it's producing. Go on like this. I mean, this is hard. Iron ore is forged into weapons. Yeah. Use tools. Silversmith, because we're at war. We don't have any silver ore, though, nearby. Iron ore will feed into it from the nearby village. Do that and see what that gives us after a little while. Okay. Smithy. Daily wage is 10. Current capital, 100k. Active. Mercenary contract, 450. Just have to leave it a little bit and see how much we get from that. Um, find out whether there's some other tournaments in the area still. No more than Varnapol. Cool. Ultra. Yeah, what's Ultra Armor? Ultra Armor. Let's head to Varnapol for the tournament there, then back over to Omor. Our castle's under siege over there. There's some armies going to defend it there. That's fine. And I'm hoping we'll get a different war kickoff that we can actually have fun and take part of. Right, so now we want to see what we get from our our production there. And if it's enough to sustain a larger army, then we'll build up a larger army. Take down some more looters and stuff just to quickly level them up. And then we'll look to become a proper lord in the kingdom of Sturgia. Here we go. Workshop income plus 25. So we're getting a little bit already. From the tournament, what are we going to get? Strap mill. Um, 
Chess. Chess for the victor. Those are shoes, aren't they? Yes. Cool, 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 cool. Slay you. you. Get about 150 to 200 from the workshop. That should support an army. Yeah, it should do. We aim for an army of 80. That should be reasonable enough. vote in a glue factory. <laughs> Not too bad at killing my cavalry in this one. I'm, I'm pretty good. Bearing my horses. Okay. Nice and easy. Bada bing, bada boom. Thanks for kind of kitten. Ooh, they're better than my current ones, actually. Yoink. But yeah, we get, so we need to give everyone good boots. Everybody gets good boots. You get good boots. You get boots. Everybody gets good boots. Uh, we are low on food, I've just seen. More fish. Get some more grain. That's expensive. Let me take out those 21 looters. I am going to try sending in the troops on this one. Ah, oh, dang it. Warrior got taken out. So the looters can still take him out. That's a little bit annoying. But, the grand scheme of things, do we need to worry about it? Probably not too much. A load of recruits over here. Let's recruit a load. I wish you could impale them on the stakes. That'd be really cool. Everyone comes 20. See yeah, how that goes. Okay, there's no tournament there. If that there was a O more, I think. Head on over that way. 15 watch. Take a little while to set up. Get rolling. And just support this income actually, as long as we keep winning tournaments and gaining influence. Taking out looters. I will just uh send in the troops for these. We lost that. Recruit, that's fine. Over to Battle Guard quickly. Funny call, uh, streaming online. Also, welcome. Welcome, Prince. Glad you can make it. Tell them. Tell them. Get some prisoners. Over to Omor. And then maybe see if we can join an army. Get involved in a battle. Get this tournament here. Beautiful. That'll do us nicely. 
Uh, ah, screw it. I'm going to start building up my army now. I reckon I can do it. We'll look to join as a as an army soon. Anyway, join the tournament. Heavy Lamella Vest for the victor. That looks very nice. I'd love that. So let's aim to win. Oh, ho, ho, ho. just got in first, though. Nice. since the room two spark campaign awesome glad you've enjoyed it and my amazing cavalry management thank you at least someone finally recognizes my cavalry genius <laughs> right next round oh just dodged it oh dodged it victory Oh boy. Tournament is over. Ah. Wiggly waggle the sword. Wiggly waggle the sword. Part in Civil War will always be a legendary moment. Yes, that was that was a lot of fun. That was mental. I'm a genius at killing cavalry. I know. Thank you. Yes, I'm having that armor. That is nice. We'll give this to... Uh, actually, we'll sell that. Because the others have got like slightly worse, but good covering on everything else. Well, the other, yeah, actually, he's got really good. He's got 24 body armor. Doesn't have anything else to support any of the other bits and pieces. But that's all good. Right. Probably try and end things today by becoming a lord. 34 looters. I am going to go spank you. Oh, we've leveled up as well. Rowing. Quick draw. Increase your drawing speed with throwing weapons by 20%. Increase your troops drawing speed of weapons by 10%. Shield breaker. Deal 10, deal 40% more damage throwing, throwing weapons against shields. Uh, I'm going to go for quick draw. Render or die. Um, send in the troops. Fight it. Use two, which are two recruits, I'm assuming. Yep. Nice. Those. Oh, I thought that was saying like 39 of them then. I was like, oh, that's a lot. Oh, mostly uh, 15 influence. Wow, we're getting 600 from our contract. I guess that's what you guys mean, uh, meant when... Um... You can earn a decent amount as a mercenary. You just got to constantly keep the battles going. Keep the influence going.
wasn't going to go for my full amount, but at the moment, screw it. We're going to try and do it. Fight your wages. But we're, still, we're still up because of that mercenary contract. So if, as long as we keep fighting and getting some influence, we're okay. Even on that when it drops down a little bit. So are we going to have enough horses to catch these guys? No. It probably needs some more horses. Otherwise, we're just going to have to do tournaments or get into larger battles. There we go. We're at 110 now. Have we got anything fully maxed out to upgrade yet? No, we might as well let all the XP pull a bit. Procrocio, see if there is a tournament there, but I think... Uh, yeah, because that, without that mercenary contract, do we we don't get a wage from Ragnvad, do we? That's the thing. We don't just get a, uh, a wage from him to... Uh, Do we? There's a castle on siege. Yeah, we'll see what we can do about that. So we've done this tournament. Oh, into the melee. Chaos. Through to the next round, no matter what. Beautiful. It's fine. We made it through to the next round anyway because there were four teams. Or just slightly faster on the release. Poor boy. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Lovely. Which castle is under siege? Oh, we lost that one. Dang it. Down this way. Oh, did it come up saying I'd failed that quest? I've got 15 days still to take it. Actually, if I can come a lord, I know I wouldn't have enough influence to tell everyone to come support me. That's unfortunate. He's chasing my party. We've got better troops than I do. I 
attack it. I don't think that army would have come in to support me. Too many troops in there for me to go after. They're running from somebody's party, so I don't want to get caught up in that. Oh. Of infantry. A few recruits, but I've got a lot more than they do right now, so we don't really want to do that. We need to probably fight against some more, uh, more looters and stuff up here. I think. They wouldn't try and chase me. Look, oh, we're losing. They're trying to engage that. I'll see. Then get involved. I want to wait till daytime and then get involved. Oh, wow, they're dropping like crazy. Here we go. Soldiers! Four archers! Listen up! Only got four archers? Okay, we need to do a lot of uh, guys' archers. Footmen! Make the shield wall! Yeah, yeah. Infantry, get moving. Move, move, in. move. <laughs> down. Have room in that way. Deployment screen is part of the 1.7.0 beta, which is what we're playing. Yeah. Uh, four dead, but none from ours. Welcome. Nice. Give us that. Bit of influence, I think. Party starving. Yeah. Let's head over there. Bring about create an army. What do we reckon, Twitch? Do we risk it now? and go and become a lord or should we stay as a mercenary a bit longer i mean without that 300 mercenary contract we'll be minus like 400 but i'm hoping we'll be given well there's probably not we probably won't be given a fife actually because i don't think we've taken you know we haven't taken anything which does mean probably the first castle we take will be given to me um I could set up a caravan actually from Bellegarde as well. Caravans cost about 15k as well, so maybe we should build up enough for a caravan as well and then go and join as a lord. Yeah, it's really unlikely we'll be given any existing territory unless they've changed that. I mean, we would benefit a little bit from the. We'd get a small portion of the tribute that's being paid to us. God, our strength has been hit hard again. 
Western Empire's we're struggling against them. Northern Empire is really strong, actually. Tuesday are strong. Canyons, not so much. Southern Empire is struggling. Azare, really strong. Valendia have dropped down a bit as well. We're paying them tribute as well. You guys saying stay as a merc for now. Okay, we'll see if there's more mercenaries over here that I can deal uh, deal with. Um, more mercenaries. More looters. Oh, here we go. Stogan to the Western Empire have made peace. Cancelled quest. Plus 89. So we're not currently at war with anyone, but I can only imagine there's probably a war coming. Who Who's paying us? Do we Are we paying them? We're paying them. Great. I mean, yeah, we don't want to be without source of income for a little bit. Oh, 30 looters, that'll do. Should be able to send in the troops. We lose one, which is a woodsman. That's okay. Funded a fair bit of gold. Give us a bit of influence. Oh, there's a hideout here. We should do that. Only five minutes later, there'll be a new war. Yeah, that's true. That's true. See if there'll be a new war before the end of the stream. About 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, let's take archers today. And the axemen. What do you follow me? There's loads of them here on this first camp point. It's four of them down straight away. Yeah, it's more efficient apparently to wait until all your art all your troops of a certain type are uh, all ready to be upgraded because they sh they pool and share xp together rather than upgrading them one at a time or as in smaller groups something like that for whatever reason it's more effective to upgrade them when they're all ready to be upgraded Yeah, we have we have very few archers, so we're upgrading most of them to woodsmen. Probably two thirds of them. Yeah, I'm playing uh, Mount Blade to Bannerlord. Uh, George. Oh, sleepy heart extent. At least my headphones are going to be charged after this. <laughs> Not the one needs to worry about the wireless ones tomorrow. Die, you pig. Oh, crap. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Pretty dangerous though doing it point blank like that. Alright. Noise. Slaughter them all. Now we face the big boss. How did you get on this side of it? What side of Twitch were you on? Side? Beautiful. 
I play D&D? I do. I haven't played recently, but I used to DM my group. Um, we're basically full apart from one. I don't really want any of those guys. All the caravan guard, actually pretty decent. I'll take you. Every unit there. Um, oh, I'll have all those. It's fine. Give me all that. Swaggy swag. And let's go to Valchek. Give us a good amount of influence. Okay, workshop income's up to 124. That's decent. If we can get up to 200, I'll be quite happy with that. Um, if it did any better than that, then it'd be great because it means it would basically pay for the losing the mercenary um, contract when we become a lord. Although we should get some income from whatever holdings we get, if we get some. Ransom our prisoners. Go to trade. What have we picked up? Oh, hello. Yeah, we'll keep the olives. Uh, play. Now we can sell that. Uh, wool. Bye-bye. We'll sell hides. Uh, hang on. Reset that. Olives. We'll keep. Play. We'll sell. Wool. Sell. Hides. Can buy Omor. Okay, no, yeah. Sell them. Leather, though, can stay. Uh, Omor, we can sell it for 111, which is really good. Silver ore. Sell at Balagard for 137. Yep. Velvet. That sells well here. Sheep. Sell that there. Some of these guys have got really crap gloves, I think. But yeah, there we go. You have gloves. Sell the rest. Sell all of that. Sell all of that. 2k. Beautiful. Right, where's the nearest tournament? What's the tournament t-shirt? Thank you. Milk. There's one over at Ravel. Cool. Uh, we've leveled up. No, I haven't. My surgeon has. Athletics. Nothing going. Something increases the persuasion chance. No, stamina increases crafting stamina. I forgot I've not actually checked any of these. Bloody heck, my brother's got all the skills. Whoopsie. Yikes. Uh got did oh, did all of his like reset or something? Wow, okay. Um He's really good at stewardship, so we'll give him like five here. Our brother's a unit. your charge damage, nimble steed. Party leader. So you could probably send him off as a party leader at some point. Mounted infantry increase your party speed by 30%. Yep, that's fine. The terrorist accuracy penalty while you're mounted. Use formations, simulations, type formations. All troops join you fighting hideout. And party size. Party leader, army commander. No, so we'll do small unit tactics for you. Law keeper. Group. Along there. Right. I've got all these to go through. Bloody heck. Um, Basher? No, we'll do. 
Reflect. Swift Strike. Possibly the governor. I'll do that if he's one day a party leader. Two handed. In your party gain 5% for each enemy you kill with two enemy weapons. Wow. Strength, Peace Slayer, which damage return against mounts. The Green King. Race, pull on damage. The bay, thrust up pull on, chance knock on back. Yep. In thrust, so swing. Captain, gonna be a Captain Lancer. This is my brother's character. Apparently, his skills are being reset. We've never actually put them into anything from the start. Which is interesting. Uh oh. Because he's actually got ones there. This will govern more likely to have children. Self promoter by winning a tournament. Uh, that's not going to help you out at all. Make you virile. Why not? I don't think any of this matters for individual characters like this. Not all of these are going to make sense for him, but we're just trying to spec him out as best we can. Automart. Yeah, here we go. Party can carry 30% more weight. He's our quartermaster. So that makes sense. Workshops gather trade rumors. Double relationship games are by artisans. going to help but every part for workshop you own gives you one renown per day that's influence i'm hoping that works as a quartermaster that's what it says but i don't know if that will only work if it's me as quartermaster steward we finally got to do quartermaster party wages are five percent less yep all troops gain plus two daily all tier four troops gain plus four no we'll go for drill sergeant better get everyone up one army workshops owned by you have 10% increased production yes workshops 
During village raids, you get additional features from loot. Paid promise. Any wage in the is reduced. Yep. These are nice to troops for increased experience. This party morale by four of the number of mounts is greater than non cavalry and tax income. I don't know if, if again, if I can do this. Uh, if, if these choices here benefit. Um, influence gain for donating troops increases by 25%. Uh, no, we'll go for this one. I don't know if this works because it's not me, but it does say quartermaster slash governor. I'm hoping that does work. Right. He's all spec'd out now. We're going over to Ravel to do a tournament and we'll wrap things up. What today? How many have we got? Yeah, we're going to leave them all to recruit. So yeah, we'll try and get enough money for a caravan. Which, they're about 15k, aren't they? With decent, or is it like, it's between 15 and 20k, right? Uh, Raider Throwing Axe. Ooh, nice. So, well. That's for this final one. Yeah! But yeah, then we'll just get, I think we need like, what, fit between, if I'm not mistaken, 15 to 20k to get, or is it like 22k sometimes actually for the, for the well-guarded or well-escorted caravan. But we'll send that off, then we'll agree to become a lord, Sturgeon. Come on. It's a good douche. There you go. I think I'm all worship. Is that in 1.7.0 beta? Because again, like, I think they've things changed pretty much. Time for economies. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm, not, I'm only gonna create workshops in our own territory though. Basically. Oh crap. the moment anyway dead now yes oh that was so close much clutch gonna lose that one. Oh my days. 20k ish. Okay. You're a big boy, aren't you? There we go. What a win. Oh well a clutch tournament win I think is the perfect way to wrap things up for today we keep gaining influence those raid throwing axes once you be saying keep them because they're they are quite satisfying but i i don't really, i'm focused on uh bow and arrows for this character so i don't really have a space for them um i mean we could give them instead of the crack fish harpoon to that guy uh we could swap over to him but i think because we're trying to raise money right now we will likely just sell them uh, so we'll sell them at the start of the next episode, and then we could ask where the next tournament is, I guess. Uh, head over there, but then we'll probably see if we can go set up a caravan at Balagard as well. So we'll keep on coming through here, keep on getting as much influence as possible to increase our mercenary contract contribution. Keep doing some tournaments for that. Swizzle around. If we do go to war with anyone, we'll see if we can take advantage of that, but just continue to build up our, our army. Keep getting the experience up as well. We need to keep fighting some looters as well. We'll upgrade all these when they're all maxed out, I think. That seems to work best. But yeah, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, the next time you see me, I won't be purple. We might have some some war paint on because I uh, kind of enjoy the, the scratch marks across the face. It kind of looks cool. Uh, but yeah, thank you for helping me raise over £4,000, which is why my head was purple. Till the next one, YouTube. Take care. Ciao for now.